I'm Stephen Young, pastor at Stephendale Baptist Church in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And on behalf of my church, I'd love to say thank you to Westside Church in Omaha for what you've done as you've come to Stephendale Baptist Church and made a difference here. Now, you know and you've heard about the flood in Baton Rouge, and I'm going to show you some video here in just a moment of what has happened. I also want to walk you through our buildings and let you know what's happened here. But above that, I want to say thank you for being the hands and feet of our Lord Jesus Christ as you served him coming and helping at our church at a time of need. So let me walk you through. God bless you. You're in the courtyard of our church where the sanctuary is on this side and our old sanctuary, uh, which we call Building B, our educational building here, you can get a feel for what the floodwaters did. We lost all of our contents of our buildings. This particular building is uh, pine, tongue, and roof, and so uh, it's all coming down, and we'll save the boards, uh, use them for something else, but it's a complete, complete loss uh, in total renovation here. Here we're at the Fellowship Hall building. Uh, this is the building we were just in and our sanctuary building this way. But this Fellowship Hall here uh, is also a large building, and again, water coming up at that three foot level, um, meaning that we needed to take boards down at the four foot level here. Again, uh, the contents, this used to be a kitchen, and as you can see, we've had to pull all of that off. This building goes on for a ways that way, and we're still in the process of trying to get boards off the walls, the insulation out, and get it dry. By some more of our buildings, a, a sad sight that's uh, worth seeing. We lost a lot of pews. And uh, this is just some of them. We, we threw out the ones that for sure we had to. It looks like we've lost more than uh, twice that number. Sanctuary is supposed to seat about 400. And uh, it's not going to happen on pews anymore. Come around to our nursery building. I'm going to show you what you guys did to make a huge difference at Stephendale. We are at the nursery building. The water here was at four feet. And so unfortunately, we had to take the walls off up to the level of the ceiling. And so, west side, you sent your team of yellow shirt volunteers and came through this building and took every one of those soggy drywall walls off, pulled off the insulation, and every one of these beams had at least a dozen screws on each side, got them all off. So at some point in the future, we'll be ready to rebuild in here. It's a ways away from now, but God's doing something special both here and in the community. And as we learn to trust and follow him, he'll provide. And I'm standing in one of the neighborhoods that's within a one mile radius of Stephendale Baptist Church. As you can see, every house in the neighborhood has been turned inside out. This is the reality for our community. 100% of the homes in the Stephendale neighborhood were flooded. 95% of the homes in the one mile radius of our church were flooded. Within three miles, I think the numbers don't get much better, about 85% of the homes were flooded. This whole community has changed. Stephendale Baptist Church, as you know, it's building flooded. We need your help, and we're glad that you've sent workers to help with us. So on behalf of Stephendale Baptist Church, I want to say thank you that you're God's hand in our community. We ask that you would continue to come, continue to help. God's got something special he's going to do here. We're just going to watch and see what it is. Thank you, Westside Church, for being a part of that.